egg. Yes, it is time for more eggs. Actually, I don't know. If, does this Pokemon game even have eggs? I don't, I don't actually know if that's the case or not. But welcome to the stream, everybody. I've got some Pokemon and some uh, Project Cross Zone for you today. Uh, so welcome to the stream. Welcome to the weekend stream where we play the video games and have some kind of a time. I don't know if it's a good time or a bad time or medium well time or if it's like rhyme time or something like that. But all I know is that it's gaming time. That's that's what I know. OK, so welcome to the stream. I hope you're all doing OK. Um, you know, it's 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 the weekend, so I um I did things today. I I went to the store. I was like a, a real falcon adult. I, I went to the store today. I um I uh pet my cat today. I um I pet my other cat today as well. I um after going to the store, I unloaded the groceries. Today was a very busy day. I worked so hard today, okay? Oh god, not the repels effect. Uh, so last time we played this game, we didn't really get a lot done <laughs> because it was immediately after the last Nintendo Direct. And uh, there were, uh, there, there was a lack of voice. There was a lack of anything other than excitement. And so now we are here. And um, I believe we need to uh, get a party going for this next um, dungeon that we're going to have to do before we go into uh, the actual um, gym itself. So I'm going to I'm going to put some lads in the party. We're going to swap some lads out. Um, see you later. You I think. Uh, I don't know if I want to continue using Toad here, to be honest with you. Like, they're, they're okay, I suppose, but, uh, could maybe put you in there, because we just got you last time as well. I'll swap you out for Daruk for now, uh, even though Daruk is pretty goaded, all things considered. You are also very goat-like. You ever been called a goat before? Dear uh, Scolipede James, I'm not too sure. Um, man, I really don't want to use this Snivy anymore. <laughs> I'm kind of over it, and like, I'm all about the ham jam now. But at the same time, I at least want to get it up to Superior. <laughs> all right, we made it to this town, which has music that I don't remember, but it seems pretty good. Skyla's grandfather was a legendary pilot. Skyla is our city's gym leader. She's a really nice person. Oh, that's that's so, so nice. Huh. Why are you all standing perfectly spaced out like this? What is going on in this house? Our family is very fuzzy about Pokemon moves. Cutting three hearts, you received two. Feeling checks is one way to get heart skills. If you show off your Pokemon to a lady in Drivel City, you get heart skills too. Um, we got you again? Ooh. Oh, that's right. I'm the move deleter. You come to make me force your Pokemon to forget some moves? Nothing like a little trauma I ain't ever gonna stop them from remembering things, am I right? No. Remember me if you want to forget. <laughs> Everybody calls me the reminder girl. I know every move that Pokemon learn while they're leveling up, and I can make Pokemon remember those moves. If you bring me a heart scale, I'll make a Pokemon remember a move. Should a move be remembered? Do I really have to delete a move first? Or can I just like... You know, see what moves. Okay, I think I can see. Okay. So, here's what Zoroark could have learned if I had it, like, from, like, level, like, five or whatever. Um, 
U-turn after making its attack, the user rushes back to switch places with a party Pokemon in waiting. Scratch, Leer, Pursuit, Hone Claws, which sharpens attack and accuracy. That could be okay, actually. Uh, Fury Swipe, Scary Face. Okay. Give up on Zoroark? Yeah, just like my parents did. They gave up on Zoroark is what I mean to say. Um, let's see. Uh, what about James? I've had James since the beginning, but maybe there's other moves here. Uh, there are. There are moves that I don't remember having leveled up before, like Megahorn. Using its tough and impressive horn, the user rams into the target with no let up. Jesus. Power 120, it's accuracy 85, which is like one of the lower ends of the accuracy spectrum here. Uh, but that's a really fucking powerful move, holy shit. We got defense curl. All right, uh, I think iron defense might be like just better. Uh, rollout, rolls into the target over five turns, becomes stronger each time it hits. Hmm, okay. Uh, stabs the Pokemon. Ganks? Ganks a motherfucker? Okay. Uh, May Poison. Power 15. Okay. Ear Splitting Screech. Harshly reduces the defense. Ooh. Uh, an attack move that inflicts double damage if used on a tag target that is switching out of battle. Hmm. Okay. Protect. Fade all attacks. Baton Pass, which places. Uh, with party and waiting, passing along any stat changes, which I do remember we, we saw that move last time. I don't, even with this move relearner, I, the only real thing is, um, yeah, I don't actually have any things here that, uh, buff itself. I guess this is only really useful in the context of Venipede or Scolipede here, rather. Um, if I baton pass from something that baton passed to it. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it doesn't seem too useful. This, however, is very tempting. Megahorn. It's accuracy 85, so it's gonna miss a lot. But, let's see. Critical hit lands more easily. I might get rid of Bug Bite, all things considered. That is an accuracy 100 bug move, though. Hmm. But also, my poison moves are accuracy 100. And better than the bug... Well, this one's better than the bug move. I mean, uh, if, if push come to shove, I could always just relearn Bug Bite. There is a limited quantity of these hard things, though, so... Or at least I would have to... You know, get more of them at some point. James remembered Megahorn. Okay. What else do we got? Uh, forklift. Have you learned anything, Forklift? Gust. Uh, gust of wind is whipped by wings and launched at the target to inflict damage. Okay. Miracle Eye enables a dark type target to be hit by psychic type attacks. Oh, is that something that doesn't normally happen? Interesting. Also enables an evasive target to be hit. Ooh. What, what does that mean? Just like... Lowers its evasiveness? Ooh. Deep sleep hypnosis. I, I think I might want that. Uh... Yeah, I, I'm gonna put on, uh... Hip hypnosis! Uh, well, I'd like to put up special damage. Okay. I think... Hmm. I think I may get rid of Tailwind here. Hmm. The speed of all party. Yeah. It, it, it seems nice, but four turns isn't that long in the long run because you gotta consider um it will take a turn to swap into something else so then you only get three turns um and that's if you don't like use it with your forklift itself 
Yeah, so move the leader seems like useless because you can just like learn over the slot of another move. Um, I, I don't know what the, the point of just deleting things is. Um, scratch mud sport. That's gross. User covers itself with mud. It weakens electric type moves while the user is in battle. Okay. Rapid spin? Speed! A spin attack that can also eliminate moves such as bind, wrap, leech seed, and spikes. Uh, hmm. Actually, not bad. Mud slap. Lower accuracy. And do tiny damage. This is power 18. Accuracy 80. Uh, the target is ranked... Uh, raked. I thought this was ranked with sharp claws or sides for two to five times in quick succession. Um, only one here that I'm like interested in right now is mud sport, but I'm gonna give up because I think I only had three of these. So let's see what else we have going on. We got just a little, just a little. Um, and now you can learn string shot string be a string shot string shot string shot be a big string uh reduces speed hp is restored by half uh i can't read oh god uses hp is restored by half the damage taken by the target so 10 that doesn't seem that great user ensnares the target with thin gooey silk so it can't flee from battle Weak electric charge uh, paralyzes if it hits. Guaranteed paralysis move, okay. Lower defense, fury cutter. Target is slashed with size or claws. Power increases if hits in succession. Gastro acid, user hurls up stomach acids. Fluid eliminates the effect of the target's ability. I think. I got rid of this last time in order to put on Electro Ball, if I remember correctly. I may swap that bug move for that other bug move, I'm not too sure. I think the one bug move that I do have is power 60, so I guess it depends on how often does it hit more than just once. Um, and all of this, I think I have seen myself use, so. Um, okay. That's fine with me. I guess this is where we'll run for now. At least with these lads. I'll, uh, I'll be sure to swing by there later when I, uh, have different things. Who the fuck is this? Oh, hey, uh, Taco77, right? That's your gamer tag, right? Let me see your Pokedex for a moment. Now, what do we have here? So, you found 75 Pokemon, eh? Staggering! You've seen a clink! You've become quite the trainer! Well, I mean, there was like a fucking hundred of them in that cave. Literally right behind me, bro. You wanna see one? Look, you come on, come on, come, come with me. It's right over here. Like literally, like two minutes. Not even, not even. It's a thirty-second walk. Excuse me, I was just a little excited and forgot my manners. My name is Juniper too. Uh, Cedric Juniper. <laughs> the professor who gave the Pokedex is my daughter. That girl told me a lot about you. That girl? You, you mean your daughter? <laughs> Good way to refer to your blood there, sir. It really makes my day to meet you. Wow. In honor of our meeting, I'm gonna upgrade your Pokedex. <gasps> Taco77's Pokedex has been upgraded. Some Pokemon can change forms when it's uh, the same... Even when it's the same individual? Huh? You've already seen a form. You can check it with this whenever you want. I also added a function to make searching easier. Professor, who's that trainer? Oh, I forgot my introduction, Skyla. This is a friend of my daughter's. Taco77, that's his gamer tag, is traveling around Unova to complete the Pokedex. Oh, I see. So, 
That means you'll be challenging my gym. Oh boy, I'm really looking forward to it. That's right, Taco 77. You should challenge this gym. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, like, as in you should, like, challenge the gym. I, I don't mean anything more than that. Go fucking do it. If nothing else, this gym really is out there. See you, Skylar. Hey, if anything comes up again, I'll let you know. Professor, my plane is a cargo plane. It carries cargo, not people. If you're t talking as if planes like Kanto and Sinnoh are right around the corner. Places, I think they said. Oh, Skylar. If you keep frowning, your face might freeze like that. That'd be a shame. People in Pokemon. We all have to help each other out. See you later. Yo, he's gonna go see some cleats! Sheesh. It's hard to believe a happy-go-lucky guy like that would could be in a world-renowned Pokemon professor. Heads up, Taco 77. As a gym leader, I'd be happy to have you challenge the gym, but there's something I need to take care of first. Just now, I was flying the cargo plane. I saw something on the top of Celestial Tower. I'm sure that it is a sick Pokemon. If it is, I just can't leave it there. Sick in what context? Like, oh, yo, sick! Or like, oh no, he needs like Pepto-Bismol. What kind? I have to look into this right away. I'm leaving for Route 7 Celestial Tower. You can come along if you want. Goodbye! Nope. I'm gonna go in this house instead. Breaking and entering, my new favorite hobby. If you have a gym badge from Mr. Lon, I'll tell you something cool. I don't. I don't. That's this city, right? Cannons, cannons. Scholar's gym is full of cannons. Yo, is this some call me Johnny? You see field after field located near the runway. Freshly picked vegetables can be sent to faraway regions very quickly. Uh, okay. It's the Raven Weaver Watch! The watch for sure! I wonder what kind of Pokemon we'll meet today! Oh? What's this? It's a Pokemon with the ability Cloud Nine! Cloud Nine is great for travelers! It prevents effects from weather! Well, I'd be it'd sure be nice if I had an ability like that! I wonder where I should walk next! You should walk to the store, sir. Wait, hang on. Was that a trash can? There, there could be a burger in the trash can. What is this? Trash can is empty. God damn it! Nothing like going into random people's homes and just like... Uh, oh, this is fine? I can just like walk on the runway? Wh why is that legal, dude? I, I could die! The only planes that fly out of Mistralan Airport are cargo planes. If trainers want to fly, they can go with a Pokemon that knows the move fly. <laughs> is this the gym? No? What is this? There's a lot of people in here. Sweet, lovely, sweetheart! Check feelings between two people! If you are a great match, you can get a sweet, unsweetheart! Meltingly sweet, sweetheart! If you bring a lot of sweetheart pieces, I'll trade you something happy. Okay. Because I know a lot about planes, I can maintain them. Because I know a lot about Pokemon, I can be strong. That, that's not how that works, sir. Just knowing about planes isn't, a, isn't enough. You need, like, a fucking degree, my guy. My dream was to become a pilot and fly far away. I still have that dream in my heart. That's nice. Welcome to the Sky City, Mr. Lawn. This is a keepsake. We'll take this as a keep on his sharp beak. <laughs> Items. For Pokemon holds an item called Sharp Beak. Its flying time moves will be powered up. Oh, that could be good for my forklift, maybe. When you use the move Fly, you can return to a Pokemon Center you've already visited. But if Pokemon don't know their destinations, they cannot fly there. Okay. <laughs> okay. For the places that I cannot reach, I ask flying or psychic type Pokemon for help sometimes. I can't even imagine everyday life without Pokemon. Hello. Uh, deliver a lot of cargo quickly. This is, uh, Mr. Lawn Cargo Service. 
okay. Because of this control tower, planes can fly safely in the sky where there are no roads. From that, I take this lesson. If trainers lead Pokemon correctly, Pokemon will feel safe and fly well. Wait, what? Did that really say flight well? Pokemon will feel safe and fight well. Nope, it didn't. <laughs> it absolutely fucking did not say that. Uh, good job. TM58 Skyrock? <laughs> what is that one? Uh, let's take a look here. Take a look in the kitchen. You can't find them. Your chips are no more. The user hurls target into the air and then it drops on the second turn. The target cannot attack while in the air. Hmm. Interesting. So it's fly, but neither of us can attack for two turns. Um, so... It's more or less just a move that you can do. And then something happens eventually. Uh, um, okay. It, that, that, that seems like useless, the fact that that takes two turns. It's just like, oh, that's for fun, you know? What are you doing over here? If you want to eat delicious vegetables, the ones grown in the wild are the best. As the weather and the seasons change, wild vegetables get more and more tasty. Even Pokemon like to eat wild vegetables. Um, that's nice. Why do we have a farm field, like, in this airport, though? Like, that's, um, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Normal people grow crops right where planes tend to take off and land. It's it's normal behavior. Pokemon and people work together to open up a desolate land and make a place where everyone could live. I'm certain that this cooperative spirit will remain on change. I mean, I like me some airports. Or oh, is this the gym? Skyla completed her cargo plane run. She must have gone somewhere after. Maybe to the Celestial Tower on Route 7? Okay. This is the gym, then. Okay. I seem to remember this gym on the inside. Like, a little bit. I have, like, foggy memories of it. Fogging. Yeah, many people have had their Pokémon stolen by Team Plasma. That, that's good that you've heard that. Um... Let's switch some lads around, why don't we? Um... Ooh, do I want Forklift or do I want Digbert to take the lead? Um... Also, Doughboy still needs some levels too, fuck. It, it, it takes a while to get up to the, the level where, um... You actually have things. Is this like Ultra Tall Grass? What is this? raised walkway. If you stand still, you'll fall off. So you have to keep moving. <laughs> what are you doing in here? How did you see me, bro? Sometimes you find more than just strong Pokemon in the tall grass. <laughs> well, I guess, like, stronger Pokemon live here. Alright. Youngster Mickey. <laughs> Holy shit! I'm gonna kill you, motherfucker! Alright, well, you're bulk, so looks like I win. Bye bye. Hypnosis! Sleepy Lord Webble. Oh, it's okay. Oh, he's so sleepy. Oh, too bad. Look at this! Cut! Oh, wow. First turn wake up. I don't like that. Go back to bed. No! 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 Uh-oh. 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 Oh. I didn't win. What the fuck? What the fucking shit ass ass fuck shit. Shit fuck ass ass. Shit fuck. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, what's wrong with you? Why are you like this? 
No! Wait, why did I do this? This was a mistake! Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, I, 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 gotta, I gotta say, I, I made some mistakes in this fight. Oh. I avoided that. Oh, my. Just a little brew to level 32. Simi Sage. That's the grass monkey evolved. All right. Or you, you know what? Let's bring in James. Let's bring in James for this shit. We haven't seen him in a while since he evolved. Look at him. Look at him with his entire body. Look at that monkey still being very low tier. Let me mega horn this motherfucker. Bye-bye! <laughs> Strong! What a trainer! I will grow better and better by fighting Pokemon in the tall grass! <laughs> oh shit, bird up! Wait, this is not a good thing. This is not a good thing for me. Uh... I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run. There we go. Ultra Ball. I'll take that. Let me, um. Hmm. We're gonna, like, encounter, like, birds in here. Let's at least lead with Digbert. Digbert needs some levels. I think. I'm gonna make my way back to that. Oh, good. I love fighting you. I'm gonna make my way back to the the the, uh, the, 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 the place with the um, um the, there's like a, there's like a uh, like doctors and they can help they can help those who have like suffered from the big pain the big pain my vibe how do you do that I'm not even there bro. You can't use takedown. Sorry. Oh. It's not effective. Good! So that means you have the typing advantage here, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah, you can't use that twice, my friend. It's not yours, my friend. You're not my friend. Yes. Isn't this like a high crit move? Surely, Digbert has something in stock that will allow him to win. Digbert! Digbert! How is this thing... How is this thing not dead? Uh-oh. Gone. Gone and absolutely forgotten. Well, fucking shit. Guess who's playing the game like not smart? It's it's Gabe. Hello. Hello, it's me. Hey, how's it going? I'm just gonna poison tail. That'll kill. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Uh, let's not make that same mistake again. Do you have... Who has the item that, um... Hang on, first of all. 
Boost the power of electric type moves. Ooh, that could be good to give to someone. Uh, magnet, psychic gem. Okay. Okay. Uh, wait, but these only work once. Interesting. I wonder if they're better to just sell at that rate. Did a deerling kill two of your pokey? No, a deerling killed one. Uh, I fought a trainer with a dwebble and tried to fight them with forklift. And I put it to sleep and then that worked. But then I got to turn one wake up and then it crushed my forklift with rocks. <laughs> Nargi. Big mushroom. Are mushrooms just for, like, selling? It says they're sought after by collectors. You're really trying to make forklift work, huh? Forklift is good! What are you talking about? Forklift is goaded. He's goaded of goadists. Boost dark type. <laughs> Black glass is good. I didn't realize I had all these items here. Um... Raises special, raises defense and special defense of Pokemon that can still evolve. Um, scope lens boosts the holder's crit rate ratio. Holy shit! I have a lot of really good items that I'm just not giving to things. Uh, ups power of grass type moves. I have two of those. Uh, okay. I was coming in here to look for something. I think I think a Pokemon that I put in a box has what I'm looking for. I wanted to give Doughboy the XP, not the share, but the like, the one that makes it get the more XP when I actually use it. Because I don't want to use Doughboy that much longer, but I do want to at least get it to Superior before I give up on it. Like, I, I'm, re I'm ready to move on to uh, the ham jam of a lifetime. Part of me's like, just do it anyways. But another part of me's like, I don't know. You don't want to use Servine for this gym, right? But we're not doing the gym. We have to do the tower first before we can go to the gym. Um, I mean, Pig Knight's not going to be much better either, though. So... At the very least, neither of them. I might bring Serp Speed back into the party. I don't know. They seemed okay. Like, not the worst um, Pokemon out there, but I think I have better electric types at this rate. Especially you. I think you're, like, decent. Also, the other... The Joltik. The Joltik will carry the team. So what did I come in here for? Oh, I wanted to look at items. You have Miracle Seed. It's the Lucky Egg? I think that's the item that gives you the more. Uh, okay. So let's give James. Let's see, do I have anything that boosts poison or bug? Don't think I do actually. Maybe I can give you the. I did see I had the thing that. Uh... Where was that at? Stored a little every time it inflicts damage. Hmm. Soothe Bell calms a holder, makes it friendly. Uh, promotes strong growth but lowers speed. Hmm. So what? This gives this gives like better level ups, but my speed goes down. Is that what that does? Cause like level ups in Pokemon are kind of RNG based, like Fire Emblem, right? 
like there's small ways you can manipulate it. I think fighting against certain Pokemon like changes like the way certain stats grow. That's some competitive bullshit. Right, I, I know I don't like super need to focus on it, but considering I'm here, I'm like, I wonder if I can do like a little bit. Cause I, I will be doing the post game for this and I know there's two fights in the game that I remember are very difficult. Um, so like, I'm trying to like start slowly building towards that. So that way it's not just, oh, I'm ready for those fights, but I have to grind for another 30 hours because I wasn't ready for it until now. <laughs> I'm gonna give you... I think I'm gonna give you the scope lens, James. You can have that. And then you can get the thing that boosts the dark type moves. Where was that? Uh, this... no. This one. Cool guys don't look at explosions. And then I have more um, psychic moves on uh, on forklift than I do flying, so I think I may give you that thing. Where was that at? For the machine that did that <laughs> HP stealing moves let the holder recover more HP. That could be okay to give to like... What's his nuts? What, what, do I not have one? I thought I had one. Oh, I have this and it's use only once. Well, in that case, you'll get the sharp beak instead. I don't, don't want to give the only one thing that seems that that seems as good as like the X speed or whatever items except they're held items so I guess I don't have to take a turn but still let's go ahead I don't know you can get one of these other random things sure rocky helmet there you go now everyone's actually holding on to something. Wow, I'm optimizing my build. Wow, he's playing the fucking game. Wow, we shall we. All right, now to sell some useless shite. $250. Nice. Holy shit. Big money right there. And then the big mushroom. Okay. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright. Now we go. To answer your question about Mario Bros. 4. <gasps> I ask questions? It's only the Mario Bros. Arcade. Wait. Was my question about playing Mario 3? Multiplayer? You you can't do that? There's no multiplayer for the main game. I could've... That's so weird considering that the NES game has, like, take turns multiplayer. Oh! Bold enough to come talk to me, are you? You're quite the trainer. I like you. Take this TM. <gasps> charge beam. When a Pokemon uses a charge beam, sometimes a special attack goes up. If you're lucky, the power just keep on saying that one up. I wanted to go to the Celestial Tower, but then I got lost and stranded. There's only three multiplayer games then. That's right, because no one wants to play Mario Bros. Arcade. I accept this. Alright, finally, I will kill. No! You're faster than me! Yeah. It's almost as if you're six levels above- oh, No! Go to bed! Motherfucker! Fucking take a goddamn sleep nap. 
Man fucking bitches, fucking motherfuckers. Oh my god. Oh my god. What else is good against fire other than water? Um. Ground? It makes me more upset they didn't do Nightmare in Dreamland. Well, here's the thing to keep in mind with NSO. Um, we don't really know yet with those with those GBA things how long. There, there's a lot of factors to be keeping in mind with. Um, wait, I'm already fourth place. What am I doing? There's a lot of uh, factors to be um, considered with NSO. How do you avoid the attack? You're sleeping! <laughs> what? No, I guess I just missed. Uh, but, he, okay, so a few things. One, we don't know how long from now the Switch successor is going to be here. And we don't know what happens to this service when that thing comes out. It's a very important question that makes... that gives a big asterisk to this whole service that... Like, I'm happy that we have these games on my Switch, but I'm, I'm starting to wonder. Because I don't necessarily no longer feel like, oh, the Switch is totally going to, like, eight years on the market. I mean, it might, but... I'm not convinced yet that it Guaranteed will? Oh, look. Now, now this is a very bad idea. <laughs> uh, why don't we swap around? Wait, wait, which, uh, ground doesn't do anything to you? Or, wait. Fuck, my typing is all- I can never remember fucking typings in these Pokemon games for the life of me. But, um, what I mean- the other thing I wanted to bring up- I'm gonna just swap to Doughboy. Uh, the other thing I wanted to bring up in relation to all of this is... If the service, like- oh my god, I forgot you can have that move. If the service kind of keeps going, then this is a really bad idea. Uh, but I'm gonna try to Mega Drain. Electric does nothing to ground. Okay, so I had it the other way around. Um, if the service keeps going, then we don't know um, everything that's coming out for it yet. Because keep in mind, N uh, N64 games came out on Switch, like, what, a year and a half ago? And then, not with this last Nintendo Direct, but the one before that, we got a bunch more N64 games that were revealed to be coming to the service. So we haven't- I don't believe that we've seen everything that's coming to the service. And even then, I think, um... Yeah, there's definitely still some stuff that was revealed, even in that N64 stuff, that we still don't have. Like Mario Party 3. Uh, we don't have... Um... Well, what else was revealed for that? Um... There's some other stuff, I think. Um, other than just those, right? Fungus! Kill! Mm, hypnosis. Go to bed. Sleep shroom. The old Mario Party 3 is the only one I've kept my mind on, says Froze. Yeah, I think... I'm not too sure about what N64 games are left that, like, I'm personally interested in. Um, I've got most of my favorites, if not all of them. And I love the N64. 
Um, quite a bit, actually. <laughs> let's see, let's do... Can you reorganize this inventory? Because that is like a long ways down. I don't... Uh, oh, there you go. Sort. That's what that does. Okay, cool. Um, you don't remember if they showed Bomberman. They have not showed Bomberman 64 as far as I'm remembering. I don't think we have any Bomberman on any of the service. Oh! Oh! What? That's not a Pokemon, it's just an ordinary white person. A whole new generation gets to have Metroid white person jump scare. Can't wait. But yeah, um... I don't know. Why are you fucking avoiding my shit? What the fuck? What the fuck? Can't wait for Toad to evolve. Yeah, probably gonna be honest with you, that might not be happening. I don't know. I, um, um, some of my early game Pokemon are really starting to fall off. Hell, even this fucking forklift is, admittedly, I like it, but... Does forklift ever evolve, or is this its only form? That's another question for the books. I'll swap to go, boy. Single form. Yeah, you know what? I think that probably in and of itself probably seals the deal on that. Cause like it's okay now, but it's not it's it's definitely starting to fall off as far as like general damage. Bye-bye. No more leveling eh? Leaf Blade. Don't forget me. Power 90, accuracy 100. Oh shit. Sharp leaf-like sword that attacks by cutting its target. Critical hits land more easily. Actually, it seems like a good move. And it's got 15. Does this have any things? It can sometimes lower accuracy. Um, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of the leaf tornado. Bye-bye! Scolipede? What the fuck is that? Um... Alright, it's time to bring out the Joltik, finally. Your time has come! He's so nervous! <laughs> okay, let's see. What can we do to you? Start with an electro web. <laughs> there we go. Lower that speed. This is very terrifying for Joltik. I mean, look at it. He's he's fucking quivering. <laughs> okay, electro ball. Venom shot. You fuck. Don't be doing that shit to me. Mm. Literally a horse versus a jumping spider. Somehow I don't think that's a horse. I think your eyes might be fucking broken. That sucks. Um. Yeah, I, I, something tells me you got the wrong idea here, partner. Bye-bye. Do you not see it standing like a horse? I don't care the way it's standing. It's clearly a centipede. <laughs> Show me. Isn't that water and rock? Um... 
You know what? We haven't seen enough Scolipede in this fight. It's a bug horse. Wrong! Oh, you know what? It might be steel. Um, because that's like a... That's a that's an iron helmet right there. Uh-oh. It's grass? What? <laughs> Good. Good job. Slap him with the poison. Ooh! Uh-oh, don't do this shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! It's contagious! Bye-bye. Well, there we go. We got it right before you can fall asleep. You're a strong trainer. Wow. Isn't that something? Have you heard that when tall grass waves in the breeze, a rare Pokemon jumps out? <laughs> no. Who the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck is that? Warm bean, what the fuck? What the fuck? Beans. Beans. Um, after you, but it failed! What does that move do? <laughs> it's, it's trying so hard to use it against me. Also, whoops, I forgot to try to catch that thing. Oops. There seems to be a very varied amount of Pokemon in this here grass. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead, get the get the big Heelys. I'm really hoping, though, at some point we do see a release of the Pokemon games on uh, GB NSO, but I'm I'm pretty convinced we might not. But then again, I don't know. So part of me is like, I feel like Pokemon Company like genuinely wants to try to sell that to us rather than just let us have it. Um, but I mean, I guess because. Like, yeah, they did release all the um, the Game Boy Pokemon games on 3DS's Virtual Console. Um, but, I mean, I, I don't really know. I don't really know. We got, like, Pokemon Stadium on the services, and we've got... The trading card game is coming, which is... Uh, I, I guess people like that. I don't really know why people were, like, pogging over that, but... Because I've never played trading card... GB Pokemon. Kid, have you caught any Boldor? If you have, would you trade your Boldor for my Amolga? No, I won't. I, I see. Well, come talk to me again if you change your mind. This seems like an awful train. Trade. I love that Pokemon moves Mega Drain and Giga, Giga Drain. Your opponent's HP is reduced and the user's HP increases. Wow. Wow, it's Charlie. It's your Pokemon. On today's Your Pokemon, we'll introduce a little one with an ex excellent judgment. In a stone home in Icarus City, the Swoobat named Amor lives with its family. When there is an argument in the family, they ask Amor to settle it. Should we go to the mountain or stream? Should dinner be vegetables or berries? Armor listens to everyone's side and makes a careful judgment. That was the Swoobat Armor, who has excellent judgment skills, but not as good as my Swoobats. On the next Your Pokemon, we will introduce a Pokemon that eats a lot, but not as much as mine. Wow, that uh, narrator guy seems very um, full of himself. Uh oh. Beep beep. Beep beep inbound? Beep beep! Well, who wants this XP? I 
I think Doughboy's gonna get the beep beep. <laughs> what was that? <clears throat> Acquired healer. What does that do? <laughs> I don't know what overgrow even does either. Double slap. Uh oh. I, I fucking love that sound effect. <laughs> Audino used entertainment, but it failed. Is isn't that uh isn't that what I do when I stream? Gabriel Surge used entertainment, but it failed. Would you like an explanation on Overgrow? Uh Yeah, maybe. Is it like super complicated or is it Mm. Holy shit. Look at all the XP that just a little got. Forklift wants to move. Learn the move. Forget. Or, no. Reflect. Um. A wondrous wall of light put up. Uh. Hmm. Wait. Physical attacks, special attacks. Oh. Uh, what is more dangerous for forklift? I don't actually know. It's it's physical attack or physical defense and special defense stats offhand. <laughs> it's a fairly simple ability, but it's a little hard to consistently benefit from. That's fine. Such is the life of a Snivy. Inconsistent to benefit from. Um. I'm not even sure I'm gonna be using this forklift for much longer, so. Fuck it. I'll keep the old moves. I mean, you can always have both, but then you only have two actually attacking moves. But did I lose a- did I lose a Mon? No, I didn't. I don't know why I was running all the way back. For some reason, I thought I lost one. Alright, well, let's keep going. Part of me is like, I should be probably running through this grass so I can try to, like, find new lads. Triple battles are three on three Pokemon battles. I will overpower you with my perfect combination. If Doughboy has one third or less health, your grass attacks get a damage boost. Interesting group. Holy fuck that middle one. I've yet to see a Swoobat. All right. Um, Swoobat will be dangerous for, um, Doughboy, so I'm gonna try to put Swoobat to sleep. You're immune to my ground move. Wait. Oh, that's Zoroark! <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> uh, I was like, what? How did what happen? Isn't the Swoobat the same type psychic and flying? Oh, interesting. Which means I actually don't have to worry about Swoobat at all then, if this is Zoroark. Um Hmm. Well you're not gonna be able to do much. To uh, attack you. Goodbye. Oh. So wait, where does the where does the hypnosis go if it's dead? 
Does he randomly choose someone? <laughs> oh, sorry, bitch. Oh, we went to Watch Hog, but he avoided it. Bye, Dick Burt. Holy shit. <laughs> Dick Burt gets nothing. You get nothing, only pain. Um. Let's use just a little bit. <laughs> Alright. Mm. Really want to put that watch hog to sleep. Uh, not, not, nothing that Zoroaker is gonna do to Lifeheart is gonna be very effective. Go to bed. You can now do Psy Beam. And you can do Night Slash to Watch Hog. Watch Hogs don't close their eyes. They're asleep, but at what cost? Cost of a life, of course. Slap up! Oh, you can't do anything. Dark is weak to bug? Wait, it is? Oh. Because bugs can see in the dark! Of course! That makes sense. The balance of three Pokemon, each with its own rule. Still have to do more research. Also, hang on. Give me just a second. I need to go take... Ibuprofen because my teeth be hurting. So give me a second. Okay, sorry about that. That was like real sudden, but like I've been having this uh, weird tooth pain lately. I need to wait until I can actually go to a dentist, like wait for my next appointment, which kind of sucks a little bit. But also, this mic stand is being shitty again. But I did order a new one. I got my tax uh, return in. Most of that's going into savings, but I, I took a little bit of it away so I can get a new mic stand. Also, if it sounds like I'm out of breath, I am. <laughs> I had to run around my house looking for my keys because my bottle of ibuprofen was in my car. <laughs> oh, a Pokedex! I see, this is the reason for your journey. <laughs> Alone in the chat, what crimes will I commit? You will commit cat crimes. Crimes against cat manity. You see, through the power of Christ, you um, will um, make cats meow twice. And you know, cats never meow twice. Unless it's 4 a.m. and your cat Cleo really, you know, has noted that their food bowl is still just as full as it was uh, before you went to bed, um, which is to say all the way full. And, um, well, she's not hungry. She's got water. She's bored. 
Oh, she's just bored. She wants attention, I guess. So, it's, it's fun. I, I love, love when that happens. Signal beam. Power 75. The user decks with a sinister beam of light. May also confuse the target. Ooh. Hmm. Forget that move right there. Bye bye. Just a little learned signal beam. Impressive. That's what you expect from the owner of a Pokedex. Honestly, I find it a little weird that Pokedexes aren't just like a normal thing that everyone has. Like, no, nah, the chosen trainer has a Pokedex, I guess. I've heard that both Professor Junipers were backpackers when they were young. Both of them. Oh, right, my Digbert is dead. Should I revive Digbert? Hmm. Thinking about it. Thinking about reviving that Digbert. Look at that. <laughs> of course? How can you be so certain that that's a good idea, though? What if, what if we revive Digbert? And then he goes on, like... Like a terror rampage. Catch an extra drill later, then. When does Digbert level up? That's the real question at hand here. Also, you got your ass confused. Ooh. Uh oh. And you stay and you're sleeping with your eyes open, standing straight the fuck up. Keep Digbert at bay from consuming the world. Yeah, that's what I mean. If Digbert is revived, then there's a high chance that Digbert will, like, fuck shit up, you know? Evolves at 31. Oh, shit. Well, then he'll really be unstoppable. That's soon. That's, like, four levels away from Digbert's current position. Anyways, Watchhog, a Pokemon who will not be using. They make the patterns on their bodies shine in order to threaten predators. Keen eyesight lets them see in the dark. <laughs> uh, give a nickname to the caught Watchhog. Will be removed for the gym. I mean, yes. Hogging it. Hello. That raised walkway. All oh, right, we already talked to you. <gasps> Another one. Oh my God! Leave me alone, Zeb Striker. No one wants to be your friend. Everyone hates you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Kill my guy. Kill my guy. See if I give a fuck. Use your lightning moves on my ass. See if I give a fuck. That's what I thought. Go to fuck to bed. Go to fuck to sleep. I need to really take forklift. Both out of the team and out of the lead slot, I think, is my, um... Was gonna be my expert strategy. <sighs> Inside you, on the left and the right, there are two forklift certifications. Which do you choose? That zebra really was pained in its death. Holy shit. Okay. Mr. Lawn City has some pretty bopping beats, let me say. I didn't remember this place's music, but I like that drum fill. Right at the start of the song. That kind of shit. When, when the song goes like that, that's, that's good. I also like when the song goes That was also a good spot in the song. Um... That's it. That's the only good part of the song. When the instruments come, I, my ears start bleeding, actually. I hate the rest of the song. 
What are you doing in this box? Get the fuck out of here. You're not- you're not worthy of being the cable guy. You know that, right? Oh yeah. Also, apparently this thing is very good. Might bring you into the party. We'll see. As for you, I'm putting you away. Um, what will we find? What will we switch it with? Um, does this thing ever evolve? Tynamo? And if it evolves, does it lose its um, ability? The ability that makes it really good levitate? It evolves twice. Yeah. Okay. It keeps levitate all the way through. Okay, so that's the thing that makes that Pokemon so viable. Is that it's electric type, but levitate makes it immune to the ground moves, which gives it full type like coverage. You could switch out Siliglyph for Wubat. I'm good. I'm good. I'll uh if I if I need psychic types, I'll probably go back to using the Muna, honestly. I don't want to use no Wubat. Once you find a stronger one. Maybe at that point. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not using the one I have. I don't know who I want to lead with here. Um, problem is, here's, here's another thing with, with Drill Burr, right? I have a good ground type. Oh no, you're rock. Never mind. Never mind. Delete what I just said. Does this game have a good rock ground dual type? That's like common, isn't it? Or no? The other ground type is flat fog, but they're kind of outclassed by Zoroark. Um, but at least they're dual type. Zoroark is single typed. You're about to get a really good ground type. Maybe I'll, uh, put him away. I'm gonna focus on really trying to, like, level up stuff that I know I'm gonna use. Which is why we're using, um... You know, we're using that guy. Also, your ground type. Or, no, your rock. Fuck! Why, did, why does that always look like the same thing to me? I, I don't know. I don't know why, I, why, why I'm like this. Why are you like this, Noah? Honestly, here's what I'm really going to do. You ready for this shit? This is about to be spooky. This is about to be some real fucking like jump scare type shit. All right, you ready for this? Viewer beware, you're in for a scare. We're going on a trip. Um. Yeah, we're we're getting the fuck out of here. And I'm gonna make a trip to visit some some old friends. A little place called the daycare. There's a thing in the water. It's gone now. Once said ground type evolves, it can learn fly. My, my bird? My rock bird? Or other ground type? It's weird that there's a ground bird. Oh, uh, wait, no. Do not question the ground type. I question a lot of things. It's not a bird. Well, I've got, um, I've got my one bird, so. Bye-bye. Uh, we can raise two of your Pokemon. Oh, you can, can you? Um... Fog King? Put Fog King in there? You think so? 
we, we can put the flat fog fog king in there, yeah. Because I'm not really using him right now. This final Evo is pretty good. And you know what? I'm gonna manually run back. Uh, since this is, uh, since this is counted based on steps, I'm gonna give myself some free steps by walking all the way back. I'll ride the bike, though. It'll make it fast. It won't be too long, I don't think. I'll just pop a, uh, repel, so that way, whenever we have to, like, cross the desert, I'll pop it. Because that'll be an annoying place. Um, okay, so to fill the hole in the party here... Oh, you... So there's two slots to fill. Um... I think I'm gonna take... I'm gonna take Fungus? Um... Pig Knight, we could do. Might do, even. Doesn't this- isn't this thing, like, good? Why is it in the cable box? I think its ability is good, right? Or... Um... You are very under-leveled. If I- if I'm gonna use... Mushar and I should start doing that now, which I don't think I will. <laughs> so, put you down here at the bottom of the cable box for former considerations. Technician strengthens its weaker moves. Mm. I think I had it broke down once. What it was told. Ah. Uh, question is, the next area is going to be a bunch of ghost types, right? So, Palpatode evolves at 36. I'm not so certain I'm going to be giving it 10 levels manually. Um. Let's bring him in. Palpatode could be good. There's also ground types there. And that's what fighting is good for, right? Or well, that would be what my that would be what my fungus is good for. A, 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 a fungus. Chumongus. Reorganizing this real quick. Fighting is good against rock, not ground. <laughs> yeah, but uh, uh, the, the 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 mushroom will do good, right? Because because grass and poison. I think like both of these are good, right? Or no, no. We discussed earlier that poison doesn't make sense. We had we had a discussion about that. Bug should also do okay, I think, right? Poison is weak to ground, so yeah, it's the other way around. Uh, yeah, this team will probably work out for me. Alright, let's go all the way back. We're gonna get some steps in. Oh shit, that means I gotta go through that cave too. Whatever. Do you have a Thunderstone? Yes, I do. We zip zoom in the fuck around. Tynamo evolves. Once Tynamo evolves, you can just give it that. Okay, and when does that happen? Thirty nine. 
Okay. It's a little far out, but not... Not too far out. What level is the, quote, end game final boss? Not like, well, okay, not end game. As in, like, post game. But, like, when is the end of the story? Does, uh, is that, like, 50? But, like, the end of the actual, like, game, like, for super bosses and stuff would be, like... 70? Final boss is 64 through 70. Oh, damn. Okay, so... I'm either gonna have to really start, like... Committing to what I have... Or there's gonna have to be some major grinding that happens. Hmm, because I'm getting really close to the end of the game. I've only got two more gyms. It's just a nice little tour through everything we've been through, just so I can get these free daycare steps. You'll be able to grind at Victory Road. Are there things other than beep beeps there? Alright, time to pop one of the repels. There are. Okay, beep beep. Okay, where is it at? Max Repel. All the wild Pokemon are sufficiently leveled there. Oh god, using a bike here sucks. <laughs> I wish this music didn't cut out when you go through a gate and leave the area. This music is- the bike music is great. It only stays for like the area that you're in, which doesn't last very long because the bike is fast as fog. Oh, Alder is, oh, was that his name? Spicy Dorito Hair Man is gone. What is this? Oh, is this the music? Here we go. Get rid of this spooky shit. I wanna ride my bicycle! I wanna ride my bike! Also, if only the, um... The Wario song was as, uh... Or the Wario bridge was as long as that one. Also, let me just say, this fucking... For you, you just get the bike music? I don't get that. I get both songs at once. The game's volume is still at the same volume for me. It's, it's great. I love it. I love it. I love the smell of salvage. fucking puts these also wait did my repel wear off what the fuck is this couldn't you level up tynamo here i mean i guess and there can be what i, I didn't even do anything what's what's wrong with this cable today this cable's being real finicky um I mean, this is just a bunch of electric lads. That's steel? Wait, I thought he was electric steel, because he's doing electric moves. Let's see. You've been paralyzed. He's pure steel. He is pure bullshit! And well, it wasn't super effective. He 
He's not very effective against me, though, at least. All the way through to kink lang. I don't want to think about kink language. Spock you! Clinkling. No, it's kinkling. And if I ever catch one, that's what I'm fucking naming it. Fucking! Don't give me that shit. Clink, clang, clink, clang. And? Excuse me, Bulma. Thing. <laughs> the rappel just now wore off. How did I fight the? <laughs> uh. I'm so nervous. What's he got to worry about? Not me. Can't even fucking move. Look at this fucking shit. Look at this shit bag. Uh oh. You know what? This Joltik gets to live. Wait, why is this thing in the way again? Why can't I take the shortcut? Moldor. Well, now I really don't want to go to this cave again. No! No, get me out of here! Oh, you can't do it! Where is it? Huh? Wait, do I not have any more? Uh oh. I don't have any repels. Oh. Uh, ah, ah. You don't have any repels. I'm gonna just keep running from fights then. This is gonna be really annoying. God damn it. Repels won't even matter because the clink will come at you. True. I wonder... Hmm... I wonder if the clinks only spawn in this electric field zone near these rocks. Maybe that's what's going on there. And they overwrite repels for some reason. Fuck you. Spock you! Stop using lightning against me! Oh! Oh! I've always hated Xenogears. Professor, what will we be playing in class today? Why, it's only the greatest game and most relevant in 2023, of course. Oh, you mean Doki Doki Literature Club? No. You mean Farming Simulator? That's a close second. Well, what are we going to play, Professor? Today, we're going to play Xenogears for the PlayStation 1. 
Marvel vs. Capcom 2 for the Dreamcast. No. Why does that... Wait, why does this... When this... E comes out here... It fucking... Why does it make, like, radioactive, like... Popping sounds? There's another where he brings in a Dreamcast and Marvel vs. Capcom 2? Yo! <laughs> Who is that guy? What is that video? All I know is that the, the Xeno community... ...fucking tweets that shit all the time. Another one. Again, radioactive. See ya. All this just because I didn't want to use fly. God damn it. <laughs> I have an escape rope, but it's not exactly going to be a solution to the problem here. Because then I have to go back through the town. Fuck! these encounter rates this cave right here is why you're never gonna see me play like Dragon Quest 2 or like early any game with fucking random encounters and you can't like see them coming and every tile is a potential random encounter yeah you're not gonna see that I like Pokemon generally when I'm outside of caves because I can see where the Pokemon is like the spawning zone at the very least. I don't even want to fight this Clink to be honest with you. It's not going to give me any sufficient amount of XP. Ghost gem. Okay. Piss off, bruv. You're so amazing. I love you, Joltik. You're incredible. Never let anyone stop you from your dreams. However, please fuck off. Seriously, you can't go like more than 10 steps without an encounter. Oh my God, these caves are so annoying. Does anyone ever play Pokemon games and go, Oh boy, a cave! Oh, can't wait to be here for four hours! To be fair, I did this to myself. By not flying back. You did for Scarlet? You fucking love caves now! You know what? In Arceus and in, like, Scarlet because, like, the Pokemon are on the field and you can see where they are and you know when you- when you don't want to fight them, you can just avoid them? Yeah, okay, fine. Have you ever said, oh boy, caves! In a, in a Pokemon game where that wasn't the case, though? No, exactly. What I fucking thought. <laughs> You've never said, oh boy, clink. Have you ever said, oh boy, I wonder what Ganon's up to? <laughs> That was me during that Breath of the Wild trailer. He's eating. Yeah, he's like... Right, right now, um... Ganondorf is like... He went through the drive through at Bojangles, but he's just sitting in the parking lot eating what he ate. Like, Ganondorf could have gone inside to eat. 
And like, it would have saved him some gas to not leave the car running like that. But that would have mean that would have meant he would have had to get out of the car. He would have had to talk to the cashier, then you know, sit around and wait. And then he would have to be in the presence of other people. Oh, fuck! I don't want any of that. No. To be honest, that's me when Taco Bell. <laughs> I'm, I, I, I'm definitely projecting. Without a doubt. Alright, we finally made it back. If it wasn't for that cave, that wouldn't, been, wouldn't have been that bad. Onwards. To victory. Um, so we got some things over here. Uh, I don't know which way is the way to go. Also, isn't this the place where the big thunder guy spawns? I'll show you your our style. My Pokemon and nature are in harmony. Oh. It's a ranger. I forgot to give him the ranger exit. <laughs> eee! Well, this isn't very effective, but I can at least do this. <laughs> Speed has fallen. <laughs> We're gonna do a charge beam. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. String shot! Be a, be a string, be a string, be a string shot! How much damage does this do? Fuck all. Just a little more, get in here! Be very nervous. Bruh, piss off with your string shots! You're already going first, bro! Get the fuck out of here! Semi poor. Hmm. Look at you. E could have killed this. That's fine. We're gonna give some some XP to the whole of the team. And we got fucking one-shotted garbage Pokemon, that, that monkey. Just a little gained. Tranquil. What the fuck is a Tranquil again? I don't actually know. What the fuck is this thing? It's a bird? Ah, yes. Here we go. Makes sense with the quill thing. I don't see the pun that they're doing there. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see that they're doing that they're doing it. I don't remember what taunt does. Special attack is rising. Damn, that's not very effective at all. Damn, you just keep dying. Bye bye. What an ice style 
worthy? No. Really wasn't. What do you let your Pokemon have? What is in your spare? A spare. You got a spare berry. First, we'll create our own style because I am hopeless at social necessities and fashions. Beep, beep, up! Here comes a cowgirl. It takes 20 or even 30 years for a tree to be fully grown. Will you have a Pokemon battle that pleases the trees? Uh, no. Pedro. <laughs> Scoliosis! My good friend Scoliosis! Ah, uh, I love the Scoliosis. I love the smell of salvage. Psyshock. What the fuck? All right. Uh huh. So strong. Yeah, James, you get in there. Goodbye, Scoliosis. Ooh, I remember this thing. I don't remember its typing, but it's a little green guy. Green little dinosaur feller. Dragon? The fuck is good against a dragon? <laughs> Ice and other dragon. Uh. And steel? Or is it dark? Ice Dragon and Fairy. Well, Fairy's not in this game. So it's just Ice and Dragon at this point. Okay. Mm -mm. I guess we'll keep James for now. No matter what I switch into, it's not going to be necessarily better. <laughs> so scary. <laughs> Poison it. Yo, there we go. Don't do that. I did my best. I am satisfied. This is what a tree gave me. What is with these berries? It's a slow business growing a tree. No need to rush. Raise a strong Pokemon slowly. Fucking gotta get on this fucking bicycle. Fucking ride this shit all the fuck away. Back to town. Fucking. Oh, you can't ride. Man, that would have been some fucking circus shit if I could ride my bike on this. Alright. Well, let's get the big Heelys. Should probably also consider buying some um, repels and stuff since I'm here. And I used the ones I had. Oh my fucking god, my bro. Fuck the repels. Nope. I'm gonna buy them. You can't stop me. Fucking do something about it. Do something about it! Just try to stop me! Come on, snake!
I bought three of each. Bam! 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 You can't stop me! You can't do this to me! <laughs> beep beep. No! Ah! Should have popped the repel! A fucking bird! Oh, I fucking hate this bird. Oh my god, you ruined me from getting a beep beep. You ruined me from getting a beep beep. This is your ball! Fucking... It's gone now. God damn it. God damn it. Fucking hate that shit. It's gonna get such a good fucking... Oh my god. Oh my god. I was just gonna... I was just gonna fucking... Oh. I was just gonna get some XP. Maybe even a rare Pokemon. But nope. You just gotta come in here and fucking bird the fuck up. Oh wait, was that a rare candy? Huh. Hmm. What did we establish this thing levels up at? Thirty-one, right? Thirty-nine. Oh wow, that's a while away. Oh, is this the tower already? Celestial Tower, a place of rest for innocent spirits. around it. It's a very small tower. But not on the inside. They say that uh, when you ring the bell atop this tower, it pleases the resting spirits. This is Celestial Tower where Pokemon are laid to rest. Isn't this where I can get a Chandelure? Also cool music here. My favorite Pokken character. Hello there. <laughs> Indescribable energy is flowing to me. <laughs> scary. Why are you so scary, dude? Why the fuck are you so fucking scary, Dory? Why the fuck are you so scary? What the fuck am I looking at? Uh oh. Literally an alien. E simple. That's not good. You eliminated my ability. You I'm a keep raising my special attack. You're gonna do whatever that was. You can steal some moves, that's fine. I don't give a fuck. Because I can still do this move, and that's what matters. So get the fuck out of here. Hey, well, yeah, brother. You get the fuck out of here. Scoliosis! Oh, that special attack is getting high. Don't hurt me. That's fine. I've got special attack is what matters. See you, bitch. Siliglyph. Keep battling. Wait, it didn't give me my 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 buff though. 
charge beam. God damn it! God damn it! Oh wait. It just raises its special defense. It doesn't block the attack entirely. Oh, I'm maxed out. That's what's happening there. Air cutter. <laughs> like I give a fuck. Bye bye. Ooh, you got your ass paralyzed. Ooh, sucks to be you. Bye bye, bitch. Bye bye. See you later. Fuck left. The energy is escaping. Oh. A lot of energies are swirling around in the world, including hopes and dreams. Hmm. Hmm. Hello. Oh, this is such a beautiful place for a foot. Me! Yeah, 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 yeah. This sign means I have a bottle with me. I'll bash it up proper right now, I swear. Oi, you've got a lot of nerve, you one-eyed monster. I'm pulling no stops at killing this thing. It's going the fuck down. Huh? What, the, what did you just waft? You just fired it in my general direction? What the fuck was that? The Wardio waft. Gothita. Oh god, here they are. Here they come. Oh no, here it comes! Alright, so it's dark and ghost? Psychic? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thought it was at least dark. Psychic only. Oh. Alright, you get the fuck back out here. Frisk. It found its black glasses. That's weird that E is holding on to that. That's so weird. Um, alright, E, why don't you go ahead and give him a night slash? Good job, E. You did it. Me. Oh wait, that that wrong exit. That was. Thank you for having a bottle with me. I am copying the Pokemon I used to live with. Hmm. That's nice. Please stop doing that, though. That's like very scary. That you think that's sane for you to do? When Pokemon trainers meet, what we do is, of course, engage in a Pokemon battle, don't we? Wow. You know, he's kind of got a point when you think about it. Why are you bringing your child here? What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god. Oh, I'm so gone. Oh my god. Wait, but you're also flying type. You're electric and flying, so it'll do like mid damage. All right. Acrobatics. Huh. You will be eating no berries. Here's the thing, your flying type is going to be good against me, but my electric is going to be 
okay against you. Yeah, sorry, bitch. I've got that same move. So much XP! Heritor. Oh my god, the dog. I need to get some new moves on Ham Jam. I should take Ham Jam to the move relearner and see what it hasn't learned that it could learn. Um. Alright, bye. I'm getting nervous! Oh, wait. <laughs> oh. God damn it. Honestly, it fucks with me more than it fucks with the trainers. This whole I'm gonna disguise myself thing. I feel like it should like show me that it's still Zoroark and just be for them. They think it's different. Perhaps I meet people here because of guidance from my Pokemon. Or perhaps you're just kind of being weird, bro. Remember you just regular revives? I do. I mean, not use all of my, like, revives and, uh, full heal things. Nope. First encounter of the actual place here. <gasps> Wild Litwick. Yo, that shit's lit. Looks like the fucking, uh, guy from Origami King. The Origami King from Origami King. It looks like him. But, like, he's on fire. <laughs> fucking Ollie. Big Ollie moment. Ollie, you... So what's good against Ghost? Dark? Poison? James? Rope? Lampoy? Arms? You want it? Sit yours. Dark and ghost, that's it? Really? Aw, oh, you can't do nothing. You're being really weird today, Zoroark. Shit. Water is also effective? Wait, what? You want to have a battle with me? All right, I have a strong Pokemon. It's fire. Oh, right. <laughs> I, I guess. Yeah. Polka fan Georgia. What? Look at it. Hold out that Swadaloon. Oh, my God. That was so fucking adorable. I didn't know the entire state of Georgia could be personified into something so incredible. that my lads are burnt. We're getting a little toasty in here. Getting kinda toasty. We haven't really run into too many uh, ghost types. We had the Yamask, Mask, uh, which evolves into that uh, coughing, um, coffin, not coughing, coffin 
thing. I forget what it's called, like carnivorous or something. I don't fucking know what the fuck that thing is called. Oh, God damn it, fuck that shit ass of a name. But yeah, uh, there's that. And I think that's kind of it. At least for white so far. Goodbye, Georgia. The Pokemon is no longer with me? Is that what she just said? Oh, I actually killed that one. <gasps> it's not true. As long as I remember, it will be with me for- What the fuck?! You actually just killed this one! <laughs> what do you mean I can't walk forward, bruh? Bruh. So let's go ahead in that case. <sighs> Fucking Joltik is my highest level Fecker right now. So we're gonna give the um the XP share to <sighs> for a little while. I'm sure I'll actually use Joltik here soon. I want to actually get an encounter. They seem like the encounters are very... Either I'm getting very lucky, or... They are nowhere near as ridiculous rates as they are in the fucking caves, which is beautiful. Alright. What can I do to not kill you? Not that. <laughs> not that move. That move will always kill! I kinda just wanna... Do this for a little while, see if I can't get it to spawn again. Do a quick ball? I could. You're right, I forgot. I forgot. Do I have any though? I do, I have one. It's my one shot. Hey, yo. Litwick, while shining a light and pretending to be a guide, it leeches off the life force of any who follow it. Alayoop. It has no footprint. Don't worry about it. It just melts wherever it goes. That's its footprint. It's, it leaves its entire body behind. Hello. <laughs> I was gonna talk to it. Guess not. Alright, well now we can kill. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Goku. Goku, this Pokemon's kind of OP. Holy shit. I will guess what you are. You are dumb. Yes. Psychic Bell Musharna hmm. Ham Jam coming in with the big fight. He's, 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 he's got he's got the swings that he's got to be doing. He's coming in here, he's fucking slashing about. He's doing this super effective moves against goddamn everything. Like, what the fucking shit is? What fuck? fuck? 
I love the, the smell of death. Holy shit! That was a lot of XP. What was that? I guess what you were, though. Everyone can make the effort to understand their opponent. Yeah, and you can also make the effort not to fucking talk to me ever again, please. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, can I catch a higher evolved Litwick in its line? Um, or... Like, Chandelure, right? Um, is, is the, what it evolves into, right? What the fuck? Where the fuck is Iglaim? Iglaheim? Isn't that the city that Sephiroth burned down? That Cloud is from? What pleases sleeping spirits is a hot Pokemon battle! It evolves into Lampet, then Chandelure. Okay. Can I catch a Lampet here? Yeah, mask. that I, I, I don't even know what that really does against AIs uh, you have to evolve the Litwick oh damn go lit the fuck is that the fuck 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 what the fuck what the fuck It's a ground type that's also a ghost type. Oh. Uh. What the fuck is that? Well, I guess it's a ground type that is also a ghost type. I just answered that, you shithead. Don't do that. Give me your soul! Mega Punch! Yo, you ever just punch a mushroom? Punch! Wario has one solution to every problem. Punch! Math homework? Punch! Taxes? Punch! I still want to fight. Wandering spirits, command me. Too long of a line at the grocery store checkout? Punch! Psychic Lynn. Oh my god, it's that one Fire Emblem character everyone's got the hots for. Lynn. I'm thinking of doing a Fire Emblem poll at some point on the Discord where uh, chat will decide which uh, Pokemon game, or oh, fuck Pokemon, Fire Emblem I'll play. Um, and the options would probably be Lin's game, Ike's first game, the new one that just came out, Engage, or maybe a route of three houses. I mean, shit, I might even do, like, I could see myself streaming Awakening, but, like, I'm already pretty familiar with that game, so I'm not, like, super in a rush to play that one right now. And I don't think I'm probably ever going to stream Corrin's game, unless I'm just, like, real bored. I would probably do one route of Corrin's game, and that would be Conquest. Um, yeah, it would probably be Blue Lions, but if Three Houses won, um, I would probably do a separate poll, then asking which route to go down, honestly. Uh, 
I've been liking my Project Cross Zone streams lately, and that's a good tactical game. So, it'd probably not be until after that's done. But there's also a pro uh, code named Steam, which I bought. Remember that one time I played that on a demo and really liked it? Still haven't streamed that. I own it. So, that would probably get thrown on the poll too, though. I don't see it, like, winning if it's up against actual Fire Emblem games. I think Black Eagles is really fucking boring. Really? I've kind of been interested in Black Eagles because, you know, the, the angle of them being like the bad guys. I want to know what's going on with the bad guys. You know? Could also do Black Eagle Church Route. I'm here to understand the end of the world, but I don't quite get it. If I have a battle, will I be enlightened? What the fuck is that? Another thing though, when it comes to three houses is I'm not sure, do I want to play three houses or do I want to... Um play the Fire Emblem uh, Warriors Three Houses game. Three Hopes. Bye-bye. Scoliosis 2. See you, Bryce. The end. Is that it? People, Pokemon, even the world, even if the world is gone, that is not the end. I feel sure of it. It's gonna be a long while before you see Scoliosis 3. Honestly, that's fine. The, the, the Scoliosis movie, like, sequel market, you know... Scoliosis 2 was, like, it, it was, like, better than the original in some ways, but it was very clearly a cash grab by the director. Like, I, I think Scoliosis 3, they need some time to, like, really think about what they want to do for that movie and then like you know give the actors some time to work on some other projects too you know like the, the, the second movie came out right after the first one and at, at that rate it's just like eh, give me some time man it was you know, put, some, put it in the oven you know leave it there for a little while you know what i mean what am i doing I'm trying to heal its burn Wait. No. I, I I gave it I gave it the full heal, not uh. Where'd that thing go? Where'd it go? Where the black glasses. There it is. Yeah, switch the items. Okay. Okay, now we can do the full heal. Here we go. Nurse. You need a nurse's help? Sure, if you can win against me, I'll make your Pokemon healthy. What if I lose to her? She sends me back to a real hospital like, Sorry, not helping you. Sorry, guess, guess there was, guess you wish there was a doctor nearby, huh? That would sure be beneficial for you. Oh boy, would it ever. I don't like that you're frisking me like that, though. Can you not, can you not do that, please? Please? Like, can, can, can you not snitch, please? She's just a nurse, and she's not named Joy. She's named Depression. Alamoola! What? What the fuck is that? What the fuck? Fish? Psychic fish. 
Psychic Pebble. It's just water. Like game, it's just water. That's all it is. Calm the fuck down, bro. Ah! Ow. All right, I don't know what that was, but that's dangerous. So we're gonna, uh, 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 we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna switch to the E. Switch over to the E. It's actually very convenient that this nurse is here because I'm starting to run out of pee pee. Slap my fish! Slaps hood of fish. This bad boy can fit so much goddamn water. What the fuck? Dude, stop doing that fucking move! Give me water. Give me the big drinky. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, delicious. Holy oh, shit. Stop. <laughs> Stop it. Slap this mushroom. Do it. Slap it. It doesn't want to slap it. Stop yapping and start slapping. Come on, your team is really healthy. Not anymore, because you made me have to fucking... Fuck. Okay then, time to give your Pokemon some energy. <laughs> it's wonderful that each Pokemon and each person can do something special. Me? I know how to make Pokemon healthy. Me? Kangaga. Stop slapping and start yapping. Fucking, what was the name of the guy in Fire Emblem Three Houses that said that? He's from the Ash and Wolves DLC. The fist guy. Just fisting about. Yeah, that's where the line comes from. It comes from the first mission in that game. You thought it was from Codename Steam. Nope. It was from, uh... I, I distinctly remember because, um... Stop yapping, start slapping. When that Fire Emblem DLC came out... It was Balthus, that's his name, thank you. Um... When that Fire Emblem DLC came out, I watched my roommate play a little bit of it. And, um... Because my roommate's pretty into Fire Emblem. Um, and yeah, when Balthus said the line, Stop yapping and start slapping! It was like the last thing he said when you encounter him on the field in that first map. Um, and um, it was so funny that we wrote it down on our... Uh, we have a whiteboard in our uh, house here. And so it's just one of the quotes on the whiteboard. It's been there for three years, or however long. <laughs> Celestial Tower means a perfect tower! Oh, but never mind. Let's just have a Pokemon battle.
Hang on, let's see if I can't get the lion. Um, Balthus, stop. Let's see. Um, videos. No, searching that up does not give me the results. Uh, okay, yeah, I can't find a clip of this online, so never mind. All right, well, what do we got there? Oh my God, it's a dog! It's a big dog. What the big dog doing? Uh, 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 uh. Might as well just Zoroark about as you do. <clears throat> oh, that's a lot of damage. Now that's a lot of damage. Uh oh. Ooh, I avoided that shit. Get your bucket right here. I think it just choked on something. <laughs> Holy shit, that's a ton of XP. That thing seems really tanky, actually. Is that like a good moan? I'm far from perfect. I just, I turned to the north with that guy, and then this motherfucker shows up. Iglian. Fucking. Oh, I get it. Iglian. Because you say, like, alien. Iglian. Oh! Wow! Fuck! Too bad it's already dead. I can't revive it. Pokemon that grew up in Unova, Pokemon that grew up elsewhere. Both rest here quietly. <laughs> what if they rest loudly? Just thrashing about being dead. Sweet. It's okay, I, I I never needed to catch that alien anyways. Um, I'm fine, I got good I've got good minds. I I never need it. I never need it. Never need it. Never fucking need it. Gotharita? Isn't that an STD? <laughs> Stop frisking me. Man, Zoroark be growing. Zoroark wants to learn the move Torment. That's a monkey S moment if I've ever seen one. Power none! User torments and enrages the target, making it incapable of using the same move twice in a row. Use only attack moves for three turns. I guess that's probably better than taunt. Oh, mm, up as well. The Pokemon are full of life. Absolutely full of life. <laughs> Pokemon that. Oh, it's just, it's just, it's, it's, fuck you. I don't want to talk to you ever again. Leave me alone, please. I talk to you. No, no! I just wanted to heal my mind, bro. Leave me alone, you fucking ugly looking motherfucker. Motherfucker. <laughs>
Well, these trainer fights seem to be very good for XP. The encounters here seem very underleveled and underwhelming, but... I guess it also doesn't help. I have the black glasses equipped. Which uh, makes me more powerful. And then what's this? HMs and TMs. Shadow Claw. Wait, that's a fire move? I thought this was going to be like a ghost move. Because it's got the word wisp. Uh, okay. User slashes with a sharp claw made from shadows. It has a high critical hit ratio. Power 70. Um, so this is just, oh wait, that's a ghost type move. Oh, thought this was dark. Uh, so yeah, it won't get the stab damage, so it's not as good. Never mind. I thought it was just the same move. G give up! That's a fire move. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not using defense curl or tackle at all. So Um Oh this all this really does though is seems to inflict burn, but even then it still seems better than having moves that I just don't use. Burn other than being damaged over time does another thing, right? It like lowers the attack or something? Let's see. Let me look through my HMs and TMs. It's been a minute since I've looked through these. Um, user can use this attack after the target. Its power is doubled. If ally... Alright, it was that move. Volt switch, struggle bug, bulldoze, grass knacht. Deek, raktum, torment. Wait, I just learned this naturally, but this is also a TM? Interesting. I, is that common, actually? The moves that you can learn naturally are also HMs and TMs? Well, TMs more so. HMs refer to, like, fly and cut the overworld stuff, right? Alright, you shit ass. I'm gonna torment you. Torment the dead! Flame burst! And now you die. Which I could have just done last turn, but I wanted to. I wanted to. <laughs> so good. So good. So subtle. So good. <laughs> Oh, top of the tower already. That wasn't a long dungeon at all. So is it just the two Pokemon that spawn here? Litwick and the alien? Or is there like another one that I just wasn't getting lucky to find? Yeah. Okay. Well, I gotta catch that alien. Give me the alien. Bruh. 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 Bruh, 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 bruh. The encounter rate on this roof is extremely high, though. Oh. A 
couple of steps around and that leads to an encounter. There he is. All right, well, I don't have a quick ball. Everything I do to you is gonna kill you. So we're gonna swap to a different lad and hope to just kind of whittle you down. doing that. No, stop winning! Mm. Please don't kill it. Okay, good. Is this the only fucking move it has? Holy shit, it lived. One HP. More steps for the flat fog. It's Flat Fog Friday! Wait, that was yesterday though. Ghost is about to get real nervous. All right, let's try catching it. Oh, let's see, Pokeballs. Let's try an Ultra Ball. If we keep failing this. We can also potentially... Oh, no need. I was gonna say we can do like a timer ball. But... Iglium! This Pokemon had never been seen until it appeared from far in the desert 50 years ago. Wow, this... <laughs> I, I know Unova is supposed to be like America. Because, you know, some of the regions are like Japan, you got like Hawaii, but this is like generally America. And that's just good. Yep, it appeared from the fucking land called Utah 50 years ago. Utah. Alright. Finally. <laughs> oh, you came! Thank you. I was right. What I saw was a hurt Pokemon. Don't worry, though. It's fine now. I gave it a max revive, and then it felt better and flew away. <laughs> Don't I have a great eyesight? No matter how far away things are, the pilot's eyes can see them. Oh, that's right. Since you've come this far, why don't you ring the bell? Celestial Tower's bell is for soothing the spirits of Pokemon. Also, the character of the person ringing the bell is reflected in its sound. Yeah, so I just ring the bell, and then it makes this fucking noise. Oh, wait, shit. The thing was muted. Hang on. It makes this noise. Mm. 
Celestial Tower Bell. Will you ring the bell? <laughs> Taco 77 ran the Taco Bell. The sound of the bell reverberates through the area. What a pretty sound. Taco 77, you are a kind and strong person. It's that kind of sound. I'd like to introduce myself again. I'm Skyla, the leader of Mr. Lon's Pokemon Gym. I use flying type Pokemon. When you're ready, please come to the gym. I'll give you a big welcome. Give him a warm home's welcome. Can I just fly here? Well, I guess I don't have a Pokemon with fly, so. Now to make my way down the tower. Well, Zoroark has definitely gotten plenty of levels while they were here. I would argue. So, on the way down... Uh, Zoroark is definitely my most effective Pokémon for this place. Um... Give some more levels to E. <laughs> Other Pokemon in your party are close to evolve. Yeah. That's why we're going to let them get some XP. Including E, who's not really close, but we're gonna give him some XP anyways. They also jamming. That's right. They're grooving about being a fish. Fish tadpole thing. Whatever the fuck this thing even is called. I don't know. You know, the, the thing with me renaming all the Pokemon... I'm giving them silly little nicknames like Salad or like Fork and Knife is, um, I don't get to, uh, I don't get to know what the fuck these things are actually called. until I get to the next thing, so. Why don't we give Chumongus some levels? It's close to leveling up, I think, right? No encounters on that whole floor. Sweet scent. Yes, that, that causes, that forces a battle. That's all it does, is it just forces a battle. Okay then, time to give the it to your porn. You could have done that to try to get Elgin. Could have, but I wasn't thinking about it. But we were also getting steps for the Flat Fog Friday. It was Flat Fog Friday. This don't do shit to me. Get out of here. Bruh, I took two steps. <laughs> oh my god, humongous. Absolutely humongous, this one. No, Chumongus evolves next level, 31? 
I have someone who evolves at 31, don't I, or no? So this is a bad pairing because it's fire. Thirty-nine? Who the fuck is my one that evolves at thirty-one? Drillbird was thirty-one. Oh. Yeah, well we ain't using that. Take off. These guys aren't really giving me that much XP anyways. So... It's time... We just got the fuck out of here, I say. Oh. Never mind, can't do that here. <laughs> Alright. In that case... Uh... We'll just do... Repel. And I'm going to hold my word. I'm going to go do this gym before we end this segment of the stream. Because I did say that that was going to happen, even though this took way longer than I was expecting. I was honestly expecting this to take like an hour. Granted, you know, no one was expecting me to walk all the way back here to get some steps in. But even then, that didn't take that long. Like, ten minutes, maybe. Let's get some heals and prep for the gym. Which we'll need... Definitely need our eel. Some rock. Grounds? Wait, no, not ground. Ground is bird immune to ground. But rock is good. Um. So let's see. You're not gonna be useful. Put you away. Uh, you're gonna be very bad for the gym. Put you away. You can probably be a good backup if all else fails. You're gonna be bad for the gym. Put you away! So we're gonna bring... Magnazone. We're gonna bring... Arken. And we're gonna bring... Gigalith. You know what? I'm gonna leave you in this box. I don't think I'm gonna use this thing, honestly. I don't even know why I was so adamant about <laughs> catching it. It's just base type psychic. I'd probably rather use um, Muna if I'm gonna use a uh, psychic. And also, that thing doesn't evolve, so. Yeah, we'll just. Uh... Yeah, we're good. I like Chandelure though, so uh, I'll probably want to actually use that. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be useful in this gym though, so. It might be good to bring along though, just for the XP. Oh god, fucking cable, please stop doing this. Also, wait, weren't you holding a thing? Held items. I don't want to give you anything new. I just want to take the one you have. Um, okay, well, what can I give you? There. Evil light is now being held. I'll 
put that away. I think everything else will be good. We're gonna lead with... Hmm, Arkin is looking a little under-leveled. So we're gonna lead with you. Until that proves to be a bad idea. Okay. Um, let's see here. Didn't give you... Sharp beak. And you can take the XP share. Wherever that is. Where is it? I thought fucking... Who's holding onto the XP share right now? Oh, it's you. Okay. And we're gonna give you the magnet. There we go. And you don't have an item, so we can give you something to hold. You are rock type. Do I have anything that buffs that? Could give Macho Brace to this thing. Its speed is already gonna probably be slower than everything, right? So that's just going to benefit it, right? I think so, actually. I'm gonna give it that. Do a heal just in case. I didn't really see if everyone was fully healed, but maybe I put something in the box that wasn't fully healed or something. I don't know. And buy some stuff and be on our way. Probably want some of these for the road ahead, just in general. Buy some hyper. Oh, no, we're good on hypers. Uh, buy five of those. Definitely buy some full heals. And good enough for me. Repel's effect wore off just as we were leaving the gym. All right. Gym time! I just realized I gave that thing like a workout machine right before we went into the gym. Please take this fresh water. Are you sure it's fresh? I'm not. <sighs> Trust me, man. This one's an ice mountain. Oh, shit. That is fresh. Just between you and me. Rock, electric, ice. Flying types have more weaknesses than people know about. If you use Pokemon and moves of those types, victory is practically yours. By the way, to proceed in this gym, you climb into the cannons and move forward. The cannons go up, down, left, and right. So, in all the directions you can move in this game, you can get in them from anywhere! Wow. Oh, uh, yep, I do remember this. Yep. You gotta go back into the cannon, because this this is what I like to call a puzzle. You walk forward, and then things happen. What do you think about the cannons? Isn't it great that you can experience how flying Pokemon feel? Next, experience the feeling of losing a Pokemon battle! Next, feel what it feels like to lose all feeling because you're going to get killed. All right, Gaidra. Why don't we go ahead and ancient power this motherfucker? <laughs> Stop. Don't fucking protect yourself, goddammit. Bye bye. Oh, you lived. 
Oh, he's getting angry. Also, this gym is not that much higher level than the previous gym. So once again, Pokemon Black and White has really weird fucking gym leveling metrics. Power 55. The user nimbly strikes the target. If the user is not holding an item, this attack inflicts massive damage. Okay. Which is, I think, a lot of uh, trainers. So. Um. This is a sharply boosting speed, but. You'll notice I never fucking use it, because. I feel like boosting your speed for a turn. By the time that does anything, like, you're already dead. <laughs> like, sure, you might move first on your first turn, but because you've already gotten hit without doing something to the opponent, like, that's negative for them, it's just kind of... Eh. You're gonna run out of... PP very quickly. I should use a PP up on Ancient Power for, for Gaidra here. Was that Air Slash? Bro, you protected yourself from that random ass light move. <laughs> bye bye. Allah, you. I was blown away! Yeah, and you fucking lost, so eat shit, motherfucker. Alright, where was that? Is that, a uh, medicine? Yeah. Uh, ancient power. Mm, might even do it twice. Uh, no, I'll hold on to the other one. No, let's use an ether. There we go. All right, cool. Hello. In order to jump higher, I'm press practicing really hard. Am I standing still? Wait, what are you doing? What are you practicing? Ring. Wait a minute. No, that's a draw mark art. You can't just do that. Oh shit, I didn't mean to use dig. It's going to do nothing. Good job. Good fucking job. Now I have to sit through all this. Good! <laughs> Good! Good fucking job! Yo! Now you gotta watch that whole animation again. Nice, we're back to square one. Also, wait, that only raises it by one PP? The PP up? I thought that raises it by like five. I guess it depends on like the starting amount of PP. Because this one like starts with so little. I guess adding five is like adding 100% PP. So maybe the devs think that that's uh, OP? I'm not so sure, but that's definitely makes me reconsider using the PP up on that. I mean, I can't take it back, but. Bruh. Bruh. Well, see you later, Gaidra. Alright, who's up next? How about we bring out Daruk for this hour? Group looks like they could use some levels. And we're gonna go ahead and smack down! That ain't gonna do shit to me. Sorry, friend. You're dying today. Hmm. 
There we go. 100 HP. No problem! Even though I lost, I was just jump up again! Trainer, do you remember what you were told at the beginning? The cannons go up, down, left, and right. And you can enter them from anywhere! How about that? I'm good at intimidating him, are you? In imitating. Intimidating, I thought it said. <laughs> uh, 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 what are you doing? Uh, uh, I'm intimidating. Uh, okay. Yeah, whatever you say, bro. Actually, we're gonna do E. I became a pilot, which has been my dream since I was a child. I am extremely strong. Bring it on! <laughs> pilot Ted. Well, this was a good choice. You're getting the fucking death treatment now, bro. He's been sent to death's row! <laughs> I fucking love that duck. I would totally use it just for the basis of it being a duck, but I also have no real reason to actually use it, so I'm not gonna use it. It does evolve. Ooh. It's a good point. I mean, if I could catch one at, like, around my level now, then I would consider it. But, you know, training up Pokemon that were, like, from forever ago is, like, mixed bag results for me. I mean, I could do it, but I don't really feel like putting in the grinding effort. There's just too many options. Altitude is dropping slowly! Yep. He's going to die. I became a pilot making the dream of my younger days a reality. And the weight is quite comfortable. You know what else is comfortable? Fucking moon shoes? Uh-huh. Yeah? Um. Oh, I couldn't even notice that you could take, enter that one from the other side there. You ain't that something? Hello there, sir. Target lock acquired! I will shoot you down with my flight technique! <laughs> Guns have been alluded to in the Pokemon universe now. It's okay, they were in the anime, too. Huh? Mask? That's very unpleasant of that unpheasant to put that mask on like that. Nobody cared who I was until I put on the mask. Too bad I stopped using that bird. That we... <laughs> that we cared so much about which version of the bird I got. Stop! Let me hit your ass! Let me win! You're gonna detect me again. Motherfucker. Motherfucker! That's right. Fail your fucking detect! Get hit by my shit! Alley Oop is, is fucking growing. Holy shit. Alley Oop wants to learn Hex. Okay, let's take a look at all of Alley Oop's moves because we haven't done this yet. Nightshade. Power none. User makes the target see a frightening mirage. Inflicts damage matching the user's level. 
So at at most that can do a hundred. At least it can do one. <laughs> Very mixed bag results. Until you get into the post game, that shit sucks, it seems. And probably still sucks even then. Flame burst. Power 70. The user attacks the target with a bursting flame. The bursting flame damages the Pokemon next to the target as well. Okay, so that's good for double battles. If the opponents know any move also known by the user, the opponents are prevented from using it. And it's that move again. We're gonna get rid of this. What is this move? It's just a ghost. Um, oh, and it does more damage if they're inflicted with status. It is just a ghost move, but it is better than... Nothing. Which is what that other move was. Nothing. What? I missed the target! Bye. It's a fun gym. Hey there. There's a lot of... There's a lot of trainers in this gym as well. My plans are perfectly honed. I cannot lose! Wait, did I ever revive the Fecker? I think he's just been dead this whole time. I should probably consider reviving him. <laughs> I mean, at this rate, I'm probably just gonna leave the gym here in a moment. Go to the Poké Center. In fact, I may go do that after this fight. If I even can. I might be, like, trapped. Actually, one is that? Please, just die. <laughs> Fucking Arnold. Arnold with his motherfucking bitch ass. Who does Arnold even think he is, huh? Ask yourself the question, what does it mean to be an Arnold? Oh yeah, this, this is just gonna take me all the way to the gym, leader. <laughs> nice! <laughs> That's good. Thanks, Cannon. Uh, hi, how's it going? Bye. <laughs> Bye! Nice. <laughs> Good. Well, that was the last battle before the gym leader, so let's definitely take this time to go visit the Poké Center. We're still gonna lead with uh, with with Bird, I think. Oh, I, I'm I'm feeling pretty confident. I've got a lot of uh, typing. That's not just like general typing. It's like typing that's good for this gym. I feel like this one isn't gonna quite fuck me up like Clay did. Just, just, just a theory though. I don't know. The results have yet to come in. Let's find out. We do have to run through that whole gym again though. Astute commentary from the Gabriel Surge streamer. That's all he can do. He can just talk about guitar riffs. I mean, what do you want me to talk about? Uh, you, you guys like cheeseburgers? I was at the store today, as I mentioned earlier. And I grabbed the tomato from the, the fresh produce aisle. And I don't know why, but there was this lady that was standing behind me. And she really wanted to comment that she she said, Wow, you sure made that choice quickly. Because I didn't sit there and like inspect every tomato. I did I do like look at the the fresh produce that I buy 
before I buy them. But this lady thought I just did it too fast or some shit. I like look at it from a distance. I don't like pick it up and inspect everyone. Or if I do pick it up, you know, I guess I pick it up with the bag itself. This lady was like over here like picking it up with her bare hands. I'm like, that's kind of nasty. Inspect the tomatoes. It, it was a good looking tomato. I could tell from a distance that it was a good looking tomato. I didn't need to look for anything more than that. Also, I'm using it tonight, so it's not like it's going to be like dead <laughs> by, by the time I use it. I've been waiting for you. Wait, what was the voice I did? Did you enjoy the flying with the help of the Mr. Lon gym cannons? They're my pride and joy. This time, let's try something else. Let's try something I like to call fecal funny. Leader Skyla. Swoop it. Uh, she's only got three lads. This is gonna be an easy gym. As soon as I fix my mic stand. Hang on. Chat, I can't tell you what. I can't wait for Tuesday. Tuesday is when my new mic stand comes in. Holy shit, am I tired of fucking adjusting this thing constantly. It's gonna be so nice. Also, don't need a, don't mean to jinx it, but for some reason, I never had to mute to blow my nose today. What the fuck is that? Wow. <laughs> uh, anyways. Time for kill. Also, I didn't put the bird back in the lead. Oh well. I'll swap to bird uh, when we're done with killing this thing. When I think about a match with a fabulous trainer like you, it's like I'm walking on air! <gasps> the fuck was that? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Looks like someone overestimated the gym leader again. What is that move? Oh. <laughs> Why are you so tanky? Is this how this thing normally is? Huh. Gabe underestimated the gym leader again. Who saw this one coming? Wow. Thunder Ray. Stop doing that move! Okay, finally it's not effective. I don't know what that move is. It seems like it might be something that's like exclusive to this Pokemon. Cause it's got like the heart nose, right? So that's why I can do like the heart stamp. Stop booping me with your fucking nose! Oh, these leftovers are so good. Bruh. I need other electric type moves on this. I'll go to the move relearner with the waffle fry, I think. Might be a good idea. When I was growing up, we used to have this dog. Um, her name was Chloe. And um, sometimes, like, we would like accidentally like drop a chip or something. And you know how dogs are. They're like, food, human food, let me eat. Um, I swear to God, every time 
Every time we dropped a chip, we immediately knew because we heard the loudest fucking sound that I shit you not with a perfect, a, a perfect impression of the sound is I got no Holy stop. <laughs> Fucking full health waffle fry. Look at this shit. Bye bye. Big XP. Ali. Triple game. That's right. Swana. Oh, is this the evolved duck suit? Double weak looking ass to me. Looking ass. Alright, your, your levels have raised. Still gonna, you know, just kinda do more thunder shocking. I feel like a veil of water is not gonna help you with this situation. <laughs> Got more hyper potions? Oh, doesn't look like it. Uh oh. Quadruple gaming! What about pentuple gaming? Sex topple gaming? What what's the what's the prefix for seven? Is it hept? Unpheasant. Okay. Just keep battling. Hepta? Is it? Oh, you got no mask. You ugly as fuck. Then there's octa gaming. I don't know nine either. Decca gaming though, that's ten. Nana? Uh, actually, I think that's right. That sounds right. Nana gaming. <laughs> which, is, which is what I do. I do non gaming on this channel. <laughs> There's no gaming that happens here. Holy shit, Waffle Fry just swept this whole trainer. Single handedly. I thought I thought I was gonna like struggle with this after the first two like so easily fell, but no, Waffle Fry with his leftovers are doing great. <laughs> Eating the spaghetti, Eating the cold Taco Bell because you'd rather have it refrigerated than microwaved. You're an amazing Pokemon trainer. My Pokemon and I are happy because for the first time in a while we could fight with our full strength. This is an official League Gym badge. I think it'll look good on ya. <laughs> whoa, 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 that's a quill? Decca Gaming. I don't... I don't know about 11, though. No. And Decca Gaming. Wait, is that... is that 11? Wow, hot stuff! With that many gym badges, Pokemon up to level 70 will obey you. Also, as thanks for a Pokemon battle that made me very happy, I want you to have this TM. Acrobatics! The thing I already have. Wow. My present to you is acrobatics. If the user doesn't have a held item, its power doubles. It's a pretty technical move. That's what that stands for, yes. Be sure to compensate for the lack of a held item. It's all boring gamings from here. Oh, shit. When are we going to invent 13 gaming? Hmm? Hmm? By the way, when I flew over Twist Mountain on the way to Icarus City, Team Plasma, is that the name? Anyway, they were heading for the city. What kind of people are they? Um, they're like, that's what they are. Bitches. All right. Well. Ah, what are you doing here? Tridecca gaming? Oh shit. They say it's for understanding one another better. But what trainers really use battles for is to compete, and they hurt each other's Pokemon. Am I the only one who finds this terribly painful? Whatever. I'm gonna talk to your Pokemon. Since I've been living with Pokemon since I was born, 
It's easier for me to talk with them than with people. Because Pokemon never tell lies. Hey, Joltik. Could you tell me what kind of trainer Taco 77 is? Your Joltik looks very nervous. Taco 77, what have you been doing? Okay, okay, got it. So, Taco 77 was born in New Vama Town, lives with Mom, and was given the Pokedex to start off a journey to see the world. Still, this Joltik trusts you for some reason. <laughs> well, that's good. If every person in Pokemon If every person in Pokemon cared about one another like you two do, I could watch over the future of people in Pokemon without having to liberate Pokemon from people who just use them. Ketsis is using Team Plasma to search for some special stones. The Light Stone and the Dark Stone. These stones hold the essence of two legendary Pokemon. It's said that when they lost their physical form, they fell into a slumber and were transformed. Now they wait for the hero's arrival. I shall resurrect a legendary dragon-type Pokemon from one of these stones and become its friend. That will show the world that I'm the new hero. Everyone will follow what I say. My vision is to change the world without using force. Trying to change the world by force will just make others resist. If people resist, the ones that will be hurt are the innocent Pokemon used by foolish trainers. You understand? Pokemon are not just tools for people to use. As a result, Pokemon and trainers who care about one another, like you and your Pokemon, will be separated. And that does break my heart a little. Okay, bye. Some Pokemon literally are tools. I mean, one is called Excadrill. One of them is ice cream. Like, what do you do with ice cream other than eat it? <laughs> one of them is a set of gears. There's a key? Wait, what game has the key? <laughs> I don't remember that. Is there a shovel? A ham? Well, hang on. Does that one that has a hammer? Gen 7 has keys? Oh, shit. I've, I've never seen this Pokemon before. <laughs> Should a move be remembered? That's a weird way to start a sentence, but yes. I want to see what moves are around the table. Uh, wing attack? Hmm. Okay, rock throw. Quick guard. I don't want to give up on all that. Let's see, what else? Uh, what about the Rook? The Rook could learn. Not much useful stuff. take a look at waffle fry and then I think everyone else I already looked at so at the beginning of the stream mirror coat are you learning psychic moves too but you're steel and electric or just electric I'm not sure um, a retaliation move that counters any special attack inflicting double damage taken okay uh, user throws up a sturdy wall that sharply raises its defense stat a horrible sound like scraping metal. <laughs> that does sound horrible. Spark, you can learn that too. Okay. Lock on. Okay. That could be good in comparison with certain moves that have like really low accuracy, right? What about the sword Pokemon? Why would a Pokemon evolve into a human handable, handleable blade? Don't you fucking talk shit about Aegislash Slash now. Hone Edge Line is a soul cursed to possess it. <clears throat> well, it's okay, because N doesn't know about those Pokemon yet. 
Those Pokemon aren't real, because N's only ever been to Unova. Which also, when you think about it, Unova could be a Michael Jackson sound. Unova! Wait. I, there's nothing for E to relearn? What about just a little? I think I already looked at this, but let's see again. Yeah, we did. Alright. Well, I think this is a good place for today to end Pokemon. Next time we play Pokemon, we'll make our way towards the next gym. So thank you for watching. We're going to go to a quick AFK here in a moment and then move on to Project Cross Zone. Maybe Tynamo will evolve. Maybe. Maybe. But then again, you also were, were so insistent that Whirlipede was going to evolve into Scolipede for like three streams. <laughs> so we, we can never be sure. There's a reason why you wrote that maybe there. Okay. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to give you some music, and then when we come back, there is going to be some fun times uh, where you play the Project Cross Zone video game. Well, I'm going to play it. You're going to watch me play it. So, um, see you in just a little bit.